I masked the tires before painting the wheels. That wasn't really necessary since chassis and wheels will be black anyway. Well, at last it gave me some practice. After gluing the steering column to the chassis, I dry fitted the cabin floor. Then I took it off again to assemble the interior. The seats looked boring, no texture, no folds, nothing. I added some folds to make it more realistic. The rest of the interior was alright the way it was. I wrapped the seats in tissue paper using plastic glue to give them some texture. Assembling the cabin wasn't half as difficult as I thought. A little filling with putty and sanding was necessary, but that was all. I didn't like the original rear window, because the mesh wire was molded right onto it. I made my own window and I had some mesh in my stash. I cut out a piece and glued it to the outside of the cabin. It won't be visible from there, because there'll be security plates mounted to the roof and the rear window. The whole point was that it was easier to paint that way. The headlights were a little too deep, so I filled up about a third of them using window color. Then they were painted silver and received a coat of clear yellow. I used the balls from the ink cartridges to represent the light bulbs. Then I attached the clear parts, masked them and glued the headlights to the fenders. Here's the result of dry brushing the interior before the clear coat and washing. I rebuilt the grill with 0.3mm copper wire. After that a radiator was needed. I made one from 1mm plastic card and fine mesh wire from Plus model. That's what it looks like. The doors had tons of ejector pin marks in the silliest places. A lot of filling and sanding was needed to give them a smooth appearance. First I built the accordion player. He should sit on the truck's step. He only fits there without his jacket, but I found a nice place for it. It'll be hanging over the spare wheel behind the cabin. The accordion fits exactly into his arms and hands. I really loved the ICM figures from the very beginning. Almost no filling was needed and all parts had an excellent fit. The master box figure, the young woman, was a different story, but in the end I was able to make all parts sit in the right place. The whole bunch was primed and painted with the base color on the skin areas. Sand for the men and flesh for the women. Then I applied a wash with oils, burned umber for the men and burned sienna for the women. I chose the hair colors, but I'll take care of these areas after I finish the skin. The most difficult part to paint right before the keyboard was the exterior. On the white base color I applied random spots and two different shades of grey. Then I painted two coats of red clear and one coat of satin clear on top. I think it looks quite similar to the original instruments. I really had a lot of fun designing these signs and a slogan. The slogan reads, Pabjeda budjet za nami, victory will be ours. I hope it didn't sound too bad, cause I don't speak Russian. <laughs> <laughs>